Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel rvccis.info, where faculty representatives from Rock Valley College's Computers and Information Systems talks to you, our community at large, about things roughly having to do with computers and information systems. Joining me, as always, are Stephanie and Jim. Howdy, everybody. I'm Eric. And today, we're going to venture back off away uh, from the world of CIS and get back to unpopular opinions. Uh, because we can't be business 24-7, 365. Mm -hmm. So today we have unpopular opinions. And this one is near and dear uh, to me, especially for today. I am making brats for dinner for everybody. Uh, so pickle juice is delicious, nutritious, and a treat. No. You vote no, Steph? No, they get those pickle juice shots that my friends are all about. And I'm like, no, if you put pickle juice in a Bloody Mary, yeah, okay. But <laughs> not I vote no too. So that's a big thing for when I do like these long bike ride things and then you get cramps, you're supposed to do a shot of pickle juice and that's supposed to get rid of your cramps. Right. I tried one. I think I'd rather have cramps and uh, do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat pickles. I like pickles a lot, but not the juice. Yeah. So we have over quarantine, uh, so I'm cooking more. So over summer, I was barbecuing more. And pickles are featured pretty prominently uh, for whatever reason. So like burgers and brats and things like that, we have pickles. So we've, we've gone through, I think, six jars of pickles and four of these big industrial case things of pickles from, I think it's Costco. So when I blew my arm up, I, I took to drinking the pickle juice out of there. And here's, here's a hint, everybody at home. Pickle, you can drink pickle juice. It's fine. Just drink a little bit of it. Do not drink the entire contents of a uh, pickle juice or a pickle jar because that'll mess you up. Uh, Eric, I just want to know what the correlation was between blowing up your arm and drinking copious amounts of pickle juice. My... The, the nurse that worked for the doc said that it would help. I, I genuinely do not remember what she, she said it was supposed to help with. It was right after the surgery, and she said that. Okay. So it was also literally right after the surgery. So I'm sure I was I, – so I've had like two surgeries in the last four years, and I wake up agitated as, as the get out. So it's, I, <laughs> I'm sure they're like, get this big asshole out of here because he's yelling and stuff. <laughs> so she said something about pickle juice supposing to help with whatever was afterwards. Electrolytes, I think I remember. That so sounds about right. <clears throat> I had so, the pickle juice, but do not drink I, a jar of pickle juice because it will wreck you. Well, that's a lot of vinegar. That is a yeah. lot of vinegar. Yeah, that's a lot. <clears throat> My mom just used to save it because, you know, we used to get the big gallon pickle jars at Sam's and my mom would just save it and then throw stuff, you know, put cucumbers from the garden in and. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And then it, yeah. Because we were really picky on what kind of pickles we liked. <laughs> there you go. And pickle recipes. There we are learning things. I never knew we were learning things. Well, I don't know if it's a recipe. It's just. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> That's as close as I get to following the recipe. <laughs> Throw shit in jar. Check. I can do that. Um, how about cake is not that good? Oh, I'm not a huge cake person. Angel food cake I love, but. I'm kind of, I commit a sacrilege. So when my lovely wife, Cindy, makes a cake and she makes one of the best chocolate cakes, I don't like the frosting. So I have the plain cake and I love it. Yeah, but no frosting, so apparently that's pretty taboo. That is pretty weird. Mm -hmm. uh, Barrett would be like, we can have more cake with Jim because he can eat all of your frosting. <laughs> um, so Barrett and Aaron both love cake, and I'm not so big a cake eater. So I have to buy it more often than I'll eat it. But, but I was like a strawberry cake or a lemon cake I'll eat some of, hmm. but I'm not... I'd much rather have like a donut. They're also smaller. I'd rather go for salty. Like, give me some fries. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I I might have to agree with that. Yeah. Oh, the Irish in us 
Yes. Right. The, the potatoes. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So everybody is not for cake. Uh, how about waking up early rules? Uh, no way. No. Yes. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm not coherent at like eight o'clock in the morning. But you, you are up though, Stephanie, because sometimes I get early morning texts from you. I well, okay, so I have to get up at 6 45 to see my husband before he leaves for work. Because <laughs> otherwise I don't see him till like nine o'clock at night. So I do that just for him, I guess. I love getting up early. You know, if I'm up past if I get up at like 7 a.m., that's sleeping in big time. Mm -hmm. And Eric, you never sleep, right? Yeah, I I really don't anymore. So uh actually the last because barrett's been allergic as all get out so he and i have gotten up at four or four thirty the last two out of the last three days here mm. um which sort of sucks but we'll we'll just go upstairs and he and i have been like drawing and coloring and just i turn on the music so he's not all squirreled out and stuff and he has loved it so i'm on board with waking up early if i can squeeze that kind of stuff in <laughs> <laughs> yeah not me not at no, all yeah and he won't be <laughs> forever anyway so one day he's gonna be like i got up early and, and it's gonna be oh all right well i'm out <laughs> <laughs> um let's see room temperature butter is the best oh yeah i like room temperature butter otherwise, I'm with it. otherwise you ruin your bread yeah agreed that's okay. Yeah. My communist parents always put it in the fridge and it's like, stop it. Well, I get the carry butter. I get the carry butter and every once in a while you got to put it in the fridge so it's not spoiled, but. Mm. That stuff is too rich for my blood. We just do the, uh, the easily spreadable shit that you can keep in the fridge. <laughs> and I'm just fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't use butter that much. So I get the good stuff. Especially on popcorn. Oh my God, it's so good on popcorn. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How, I, this one's for Jim. Concerts are not fun. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? That is well, so, they are the best. When you've gone to the Foo Fighters like 20 times, <laughs> you know, of course you're going to have fun. Stephanie, when you're in that mosh pit, right? You yeah, know, I suppose. <laughs> I need a husband that'll go with me. <laughs> Just tell Cindy I'm going to borrow you for a concert. Yeah, you get yeah, me or Tyler, one of us. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Eric, Eric concerts? No. Do you? Yep. Too many people. When you're a big guy at a concert, people are like, "Let's pick a fight with a big guy," and it's just like, "Don't." So I stopped like 20 years ago. It's like I'm done getting in fights over some little man needing to prove that he's not a little man. So nah, it has really spoiled me for that whole experience. Eric, trust me, if you and I were at the same concert and you were in front of me and you were standing up and I was sitting down, I would not tap you on the shoulder and say, please, sir, sit down. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just, you get all those, you know, you get a bunch of people, all the energy and all the alcohol and people are like, this is a good idea. No. <laughs> No, that is not a good idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what was awesome? We went, my husband and I went to a rock concert. I don't know, it must have been like 15, 20 years now, but <clears throat> it was old guys there back then and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was calm, everybody was seated. <laughs> uh -huh. I know that's what I love, right? Yeah. I love that demographic of 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 old guys because yeah, we're all sitting down, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Maybe then. But um let's see. Watching a movie at home. This will be our second last one. Watching a movie at home is better than watching a movie in theaters. Oh yes. I think it depends on the movie. Like one of those big sci-fi movies I like on the big screen. But yeah, I can I see both. Yeah, I, I can see it both ways. Comfort of your own home, right? Yep. When was the last time you've been to a movie theater? Ooh. I think fall of pre-COVID. Really? 
Yeah. Anybody want it? You'll never guess, but uh, the last movie I saw in a movie theater was the oh shoot the tom hanks one where he's like decoding bible mysteries or whatever oh yeah da vinci code the da vinci code that is the last movie i saw in a theater so you haven't taken barrett no mine was harry potter one of the harry potters okay and i don't I'm, feel like i'm missing anything uh-uh no i'm not missing well, i don't think so of course, you know, I'm married to an introvert and then I'm kind of an introvert and don't want to go anywhere once I get home. So <laughs> the, with both of us together, we're our friends are screwed. We just never go. <laughs> 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 OK, and last but potentially least of our unpopular opinions, ketchup should be warm, not cold. Oh, oh, I kind of like it somewhat. I like at room temperature. I had mine cold. We so, do you, Jim, do you actually keep it like in the pantry as opposed to in the refrigerator? Or? Oh, no, no. We have to put it in there. Once it's open, the bottle's open, it's in the refrigerator. But, you know, like if you, if I dip my fries in, I don't like to dip in a hot fry into cold ketchup. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I agree. You've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Conley. You have changed my mind. <laughs> you have earned your money for today. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go i like this we're all now converts to the ketchup should be room temperature when eaten uh, that did not take any effort at all <laughs> i'm always starving and just wanting to eat it <laughs> That's, yeah i usually am too stuff yeah truth be told so yeah. went to a place once where the ketchup had been there for so long they were all literally black <laughs> oh my god oh, yeah you ate yes, I, here? no no i was like <laughs> I'm I'm starving, but I'm not eating that. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Rule of thumb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Black dream. Yeah. Well, there was no other restaurant for you know a hundred miles, so you were you were screwed. That was the end of the road. Wow. So there you go. Some unpopular opinions. If you guys have comments on any of our unpopular opinions, like ketchup, we're we're all converts now. Ketchup should be room temperature. I agree. Um, or if we've changed your mind on anything, go ahead and leave us a comment below. While you're down there, you can also please like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of any new content as it becomes available. While you're down there, you can also follow us on social media. We can be found at RVCCIS Info on Twitter, on Facebook, on Anchor.fm, and here on YouTube. So on behalf of Jim and Steph and myself, Eric, and the rest of the Rock Valley community, stay safe and stay sane out there, everybody.